What's up everybody? Welcome to the Baggers and Brews 2022 Holiday Gift Guide. Yo ho ho! Everybody's always looking like what to get their biker husband, biker friend, biker boyfriend, maybe biker girlfriend, you know, what to get them for Christmas. Yeah. You know, because I don't know, I think we're kinda of hard to buy for. So we usually get one. Uh, you know. Yeah, I guess. Um, but anyway, we have uh, some of our ideas of what are good mm -hmm. gifts for the uh, the motorcyclist in your life. Uh, these are some of these could be kind of general. Uh, we've picked some specific brands, but it's not necessarily specific to that brand. They're just general ideas. So we're gonna roll through them. We've got two different categories. Basically, we got for the bike and we have for the rider. So. And all the products we show you here, we'll have links down below. Um, we picked out things that can be found on Amazon, so you can obviously easily shop online. So uh, just go down below, click the link, it'll take you right there. So we'll get into it. We'll start with For the Bike. And this first product is a jump pack. Could have used one of these. Could have used one of these <laughs> recently on our Ocean City, Maryland trip when the mm -hmm. wife's bike decided not to start. I had we were leaving. my bike decide not to start in North Carolina in the in the spring. So both times yeah. we did not have one of these, so we will also be buying one of these for Christmas. And here is the um, Noco brand, which is uh, said to be a favorite of a lot of people. Now there are a lot of these out on the market. Uh, this is just uh, one of the good quality brands. They also have a bunch of different components to this. You can buy the jump pack, which you would take with you. You can also buy the battery charger, which would mm -hmm. replace your, trickle, your charger. trickle charger, your Harley Davidson battery tender, or whatever, mm -hmm. whole different system. Um, they have cases for these, they have extension cables for these if you need longer in your garage. There's a whole lineup of the NOCO, Noco so you can check that out. But this is really a must have for anyone that does a lot of distance riding yeah. and overnight trips. Yeah. To the air compressor. Man, you could have used one of these recently. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> and again, these kind of have a common theme of uh, things you're gonna need on a road trip on a motorcycle, because mm -hmm. you never know when something's gonna happen. Having an air compressor when your, your tires are low is pretty critical, because you're not always gonna be around some place that, that has it has an air, an air pump or something like that yep. and uh you know up here in jersey we're used to having the wawas all over the place to have them but i'm sure a lot of the places in the country don't have anything close by when things are more spread out and uh riding around with low air pressure is not, dangerous it's not safe dangerous so here's another brand by air moto that we like it's uh it's a nice little tiny portable gives you everything you need all in a tiny compact little device not a bad price but again this is another one of those products where uh, there's a lot of different brands you can simply go to amazon and type in motorcycle air compressor and you're going to see dozens of options so you can always pick what what you like but this is one of the ones that we like great to have it a rally come out your tires low at least this can get you you know something enough air to get to bike fix get to you know a tire guy or get to a dealer so really invaluable. Absolutely. And keeping in the the idea of uh, taking uh, care of the bike. Uh oh, my bike's broke theme. <laughs> I'm on the road and something's wrong that I should be able to fix, but I don't have uh, anything with me to do it, is a simple tool roll. Uh, something that can fit somewhere on your bike pretty mm -hmm. easily. If you, if you have bags or something like that, it's gonna go in there real easy. And a lot of times if you don't, you have a smaller a Dyna or you know, a Sportster, these can strap to the handlebars or multiple different places, but a simple tool roll. Uh, again, these are all over the place as from price range. Um, most of them are gonna come empty and you know, the rider's gonna have to fill that in with what he, what he needs and what he would possibly use, but. And finally for the bike and you know, kind of keeping in this theme is the tire repair kit. Yeah. Uh, again, something, you know, we've had this come up in, in our group rides, you know, and there's a flat tire. Mm -hmm. um, there's one here made by a bike master that does uh, also the tube, if you have a tire with a tube yep. in it. So this, that's the one that, uh, that I like. Not expensive, a nice little stocking stuffer type of gift, but um, you never know when you need to do a patch job, you know, 
side of the road in the middle of nowhere. Not expensive, doesn't take up a lot of room. Combine this with an air compressor and you could take a situation that would be very expensive and needing a tow and a waste of a day into you being back on the road and being able to get some place to get repaired. Absolutely. I mean, if you're gonna need a, if you're probably gonna need a tow anyway, why not give this a shot and see if you can fix the problem yep. yourself. Now we're moving on to items that be for the rider. Uh, something that we have, comp systems. Yeah. Now, we're not necessarily saying specifically which one to get. There's several out there. We have the Senas. Mm -hmm. We know people that have the Cardos and love those. And there are other brands that people use and love. And love. Um, All right. Doesn't really matter which one you pick, which one works for you. But having that is, is pretty valuable sometimes. Um, and not just necessarily for communicating with another person. If you ride solo, this could still come in handy for listening to music, for listening to your GPS, you know, directions. Yeah. Um, it, emergency phone call. If you're wearing a full face, you can make a phone call. And I prefer, when I'm wearing a full face, I prefer using my Bluetooth for my radio. Right. Um, it's just, it's so much, it's so much nicer, so much more clear. I think the thing to keep in mind is we're giving you a couple brands here, you know, the price is directly reflective of the features that you get. True. Sure. So yeah, sure. you don't have to spend a lot of money on a Bluetooth of any brand of Senna or Cardo or Lexon or whoever you're you're, you're buying it from. Yeah. Um, but the price you pay will definitely dictate the amount of features and functionality of that unit. All right, now uh, we all ride in some type of cold weather once in a while, right? At some point. Um, gloves. Yeah. And I mean, honestly, so you don't ride with gloves in, on, a regular basis, on a regular basis. I ride with gloves all the time. Like they are part of my, you know, even if I lived in a state with no helmet law, I would probably still wear gloves. It's just how I learned to ride. It's just what I do. It's just, it's like a, a seatbelt, which you also don't wear. But anyway, it's, uh, yeah, I, I ride with gloves all the time. And, and these gloves, these are Indy Ridge gloves. Indy Ridge. Uh, mm -hmm. Yep. So small company, good quality leather. They make a number of gloves. Um, leather gloves are important because leather cuts the wind. And believe me, if you get caught in cold weather, you will feel the wind come through every stitch of a cheap glove. Absolutely. Yeah. And I mean, the, you know, the cooler time of year, the winter riding is, is the only time I do mm -hmm. ride and you do need a thicker glove than, you know, maybe the mechanic style gloves that I would, would yeah. use on a normal mm -hmm. basis in the warmer weather if I chose to. But here's the cool thing about these gloves as well is they have the touch pad for the touch fingers for your yes. phone. And that is important. And, you know, a leather glove at this price point, you know, that's warm with that is, I think, a great deal. Um, I easily, I feel like I paid $60 for my summer Harley gloves that have that same feature. Moving from the hands to the feet footwear. Yeah. Very important. Very important. Now we have a couple different styles that we like. We've recently started using the Indy Ridge mm -hmm. Uh They have a few different models, the, the Apache, the Comanche. They're just kind of different looks. Yeah. Depending on what you know, whether you want dark leather or light lighter leather or black leather. Mm -hmm. um, you've been wearing them. How do you think? I like them. They're warm. Um, they're the first lace-up boot I've ever ridden in, which I really thought was going to be a problem. And, but I'm digging them. They're warm. It takes them a little bit to break in. They are good thick leather. And um, coming from you know a Western boot, it was a big change for me. But it's much more comfortable walking around during the day. And they're waterproof. Right. Which, which is, is a big deal. It is a big deal. Uh, another shoe, not really a boot, is the Harley Davidson shoe. Now we've mm -hmm. done a past review on this shoe. I have it. Uh, my wife has a version of it mm -hmm. and uh, super comfortable. Great for uh, when you're riding someplace where you're going to be getting off and doing a lot of walking. Yep. If they're not real big and cumbersome like a typical boot because it is more of just a high top shoe. Super comfortable, you know, a decent price point. Uh, just another option. You can also get these on Amazon or the Harley website. Also waterproof. Also waterproof. Yep, absolutely. Uh, footwear is a big deal when you're riding. So here are a couple of options. Moving to another part of the body. Eyewear. Eyewear, crucial. You gotta have it when you're riding, How, right? how crucial is eyewear? Pretty crucial. <laughs> Speaking from experience, taking a bug in the eye at 50 miles an hour can be can be real bad news. Yeah. So um, we're big fans of the Epic eyewear. Mm -hmm. We've been rocking Epics now for about 
two years, I would say, roughly. Yeah. Um, again, I ride, we, we both ride baggers, we have wind windshields, so I use goats almost all the time, whether I'm in a full face or whether I'm in a half. Um, I've been using the goats. They are a great on and off the bike glass. Absolutely. Um, they do make moto specific gear. They make some transitionals that I've also used. They make clears, they make yellows, which you like a lot as well. Um, polarized, unpolarized, lots of options here. And you know what? It's This is reasonable. These are extremely affordable glasses. Mm -hmm. Right, exactly. Um, you know, and just as good a quality as a lot of the glasses that are uh, <coughs> two, three, four times as much. Price. Yeah. Uh, and I personally, as someone who tends to go through glasses, whether I break them or lose them or they scratch, forever, them. scratch them, it's nice to have a good pair of glasses that don't break the bank and you know it's not mm -hmm. devastating when, when something happens to them. And uh, listen, little Christmas bonus, if you use this link and you go to Epic Eyewear and at checkout you put in code baggers, you will also get 10% off your purchase. Yo. Last but not least, uh, this could kind of go for the bike or the biker, and that is luggage. Yep. Um, anybody that does any kind of distance riding and overnight trips is gonna need some type of luggage. Mm -hmm. um, whether you have a bagger or you have a soft tail, it doesn't matter, you're gonna need something. And Zero 3D has a brand new lineup of luggage called the Dry Force, and it's pretty awesome stuff. It's pretty cool. One. On and off the bike, this stuff is functional. So you're not buying something just for the bike. You can right. use this if you're going away for a weekend, no matter where you're going. It's tough, it's durable, it's completely waterproof, it's lightweight. Even the zippers are waterproof. So, you know, made for the road. Yeah. I, I used it, we both, we all used it going down to Ocean City. That was the first trip that we used it on. Um, I had it latched up to my luggage rack and I liked it because the bag doesn't weigh that much. So you're already starting off a little bit lighter. And the best part is they have like, there's four or five different styles in this lineup. So there's something mm -hmm. for whatever your need is, whatever your style of bike is. And as you can see, like they look nice. So like you could take these on a business trip, a vacation, whatever. It doesn't have to be no. just on the bike. Like you said, 100% waterproof is, is awesome feature. Yes. I mean, you could technically throw this in the back of your pickup truck and not worry about rain mm -hmm. or anything, you know? So. Uh, really nice bags. Um, you can check. You can get these on Amazon as well. And if you don't find them there, obviously Zero3D.com mm -hmm. has the full lineup. So there you have it, guys. If you're looking for a little gift for Christmas or maybe a big gift for Christmas, these are a few of the items that we feel any biker would be happy to have. Absolutely. Um, again, there's many different brands out there. These are some of the ones we like. So this is a starting point for you as you start your holiday shopping. Yeah. It's, Black Friday is coming up. Black Friday is coming. Christmas is going to be here before you know it. Um, get get your stuff ordered. And like Bert said, if you're unsure of what to get somebody who's a motorcyclist or a biker, this is a great starting point for you. Yeah. And, uh, you know, if uh, the person in your life has everything on this list, then leave us a comment and we'll find something else for you. <laughs> <laughs> so, hope everybody has a great holiday, uh, a great holiday shopping season mm -hmm. it can be hectic and all of these items can be purchased online you don't even leave the ha have to leave the house yeah. so that's really good news this time of year when the traffic gets crazy and everybody's out and about um, please uh, leave us a comment on what you think of these if you have any of these uh, your thoughts give us a like give us a subscribe if you're not already subscribed mm -hmm. and uh, Merry Christmas later <laughs>